Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I thought, um... Well, I'm kind of... Not bored, obviously, you know. That'd be stupid. But, um... Well, I've kind of gotten a grasp of the content so far. I think I'd go ahead and make kind of like a first impressions of the season. Because holy crap, uh, I was not expecting the season to be this good. Now, I say that, you know, the, the season's not completely, you know, the, not everything's here. We still have like the exotic quest, uh, exotic weapons in general that might come to the game. And uh, as you can see, I've already uh, kind of taken to the armor synthesis thing. Uh, really liking this uh, armor synthesis. Uh, so, I was a bit skeptical at first. And what surprised me the most, and you will already see I have uh, multiple here. That's great. Um, I logged on, and I haven't gotten a single... Um, synth weave um, at all yet I'm getting synth weave for almost like for free I don't know how I have these uh, I don't know what gives you them but I got them and I spent quite a bit of them uh, I got leg armor a helmet and then for my PvP gear I got Where is it? I, think I, I don't think I got gauntlets, did I? No. I got a chest plate. Uh, which... It's actually my... This chest plate. So I got the chest plate. What's this? Two pairs of boots. Uh, this one. And... This one. And a mark, because I thought it'd be very nice to get the uh, memory cade mark. So that's cool. And I was planning to get some synth weave things, as well as uh, the season pass. So I bought silver. I also saw that they added a new Yoten ornament. Uh, I call it. Before I even started streaming, I was like, you know what? They're going to make a new Yoden ornament. And boom, I called it too. Uh, it's good. It's not as good as uh, Yarn Grief Hair. But it's it's cool. It's cool. The weapons are incredible. This thing doesn't move. I haven't even mass worked yet, but it doesn't move. Uh, I might even throw on a... Uh, Arrowhead. Because, uh, it, really, it, it doesn't move. Um, I'm loving the look of these weapons, dude. Like, the sights and everything, they're great. Sidearm, I haven't really tried. Grenade launchers, whatever. I got this roll as well. Sidearm, I have not tried. The pulse is good. I like the pulse. Very good. Shotgun, really good as well. LMG also really good uh, the weapons in general are great the stasis sidearm I'm not the biggest fan of uh, for some reason it jumps in my hand a lot like it just bounces everywhere um, I thought they buffed the um, the stability for sidearms and SMGs but maybe that was just SMGs I don't know uh, they should definitely update or like give a little bit more uh, less kick I guess for sidearms on console, because this thing is quite a, uh, it it bounces a lot. Uh, the perk itself, I don't really care about. It's not crazy or anything. Um, the activities, well, first, uh, this space is great, freaking amazing. Um, one thing that I was thinking of actually, I don't even know what that is. Um, because a lot of people are like, man, I wish we had the, uh, the tribute hall. What they could easily do is, like, either 
one of the two things like maybe over here or over here or over here they could add like a, a shooting range where you go in and you'll be able to shoot stuff and there'll be enemies and stuff or when you go to the map uh, you could go to similar to like this maybe down here there'd be like a uh, you know uh, like a tribute hall thing that'd be very cool I'd love to see it um, will they do it I don't know probably not but really who knows uh, I think it, it would be a very good addition to the game I love the fallen babies that are uh, that you can actually see and even blink too if we wait enough it'll do it there we go uh, and I think a lot of people are missing this well, I haven't really seen anything yet for anyone um, but there's a lot of correlation to potential SIVA or scourge of the past related things uh, for instance, this is similar to the server that was in uh, the the final boss for Scourge. Mithrax. I don't know where he is. I don't think he's here, but Mithrax uh, helped us get Outbreak Prime. It's a Siva weapon. Also similar in style to like Scourge. Had that kind of Scourge vibe in the uh, you know, last city. One of my favorite parts about the entirety of the... Uh, you know, the the new season is this. You can go to an area that is literally part of Scourge of the Past. It is the final boss encounter room. Uh, I haven't looked, but there may be an Easter egg here. Uh, I'm assuming there isn't. But who knows? Um, it's very cool though as you can see this is where that guy is having a seizure um, this is where the map would be uh, if you've ever done what is this I was not expecting that. What is this? That's like the Traveler. I don't want to press that though because it's going to be more talking. Wow, there's actually people like everywhere. So yeah, this is where um, you'd like dunk. It's like one of the places where you would dunk. This is where uh, one of the bosses would spawn that you'd have to kill. I don't think you'd actually go up here before. They, look, they even have the freaking... Um, this is where the enemies would spawn. It's just very cool. I like the uh, whole area in general. I, I wish they would do something with this. Like this whole area in general is just very, very cool. This is another boss spawn. There's one up there as well. Uh, there's one over there. That's another dunk station. These are where the, uh, the snipers would be at. The boss would be somewhere around here, and this is where you jump down to get the loot. And this got caved in, okay. This is where, um, 
the first part of the boss encounter would be they put rocks there. I, I don't know why they chose to uh, have this place as a um, as a, an area to go in unless something would happen here. And I'm very hopeful that something will. But I mean, you can kind of sit here and look at stuff. Like the, law, or the last city. It's pretty cool. I don't exactly know much about um, the whole like lord, kind of lore guy. But it seems pretty cool. Is there like an easter egg? I, I wish there was easter eggs here that you can mess around with. This looks like a prime easter egg spot. Very cool though, seeing it without like any enemies. I'm glad they're they're actually like going back into old places. It's just if we're gonna have this, why not just have the rest of the raid? Like that was my favorite raid, man. Like Leviathan, whatever. Uh, Crown of Sorrow, whatever. But I, I really like Scourge. I don't know why I'm talking about this for. Is that? Hold on a second. That's the boss. Here lies the remnants of Kel Scourge, a dark period in Elixni history. After the whirlwind, many Elixni were overcome by feelings of hopelessness. They were homeless, hungry, and hunted by guardians and hive alike. So when Civix founded Kel Scourge, promising to return Elixir to power with ancient weaponry, many were drawn to his call. Though the Scourge claimed to fight for Elixir empowerment, in reality, they represented the final degradation of our culture. A once great interstellar civilization was reduced to an anarchist mob. Anarchy. By a power hungry coward. Let ours be a cautionary tale. No matter how enlightened the culture, there are always those who prey on our worst impulses for the TV or microwave. This is really cool. That's someone's ghost? This is really neat though. I, I did not see that there before. That's very interesting. It's just like literally insurrection prime just chilling out. I wonder if that server was the one inside of insurrection prime. Cause this the server's gone. Just a bunch of wires. That's really cool though. I hope there's like an Easter egg or, or a part where you get to go inside of the uh, area. I wonder if like you could somehow get out of bounds and go under in there. There's probably like YouTubers trying to do it. So we would jump off. When we had to wipe, it's a wipe. That's, that's really cool though. I, I, wow, I was not expecting uh, I, I really did not expect, like out of all the places, Scourge? I don't know, uh, I thought this entire area was really cool. Uh, I'm glad they actually did this. So, overall, um, I am very happy with the season so far. 
Uh, season pass in general looks great. Weapons are great. Um, the armor. I don't know if this is. I mean, I like that actually. This is, these are some really good gauntlets. Like the glass and everything, the purple, like. I don't know, whatever you'd call it. Looks great. I don't know if the boots were good though. That's not bad. Looks like Cabal armor though. This one was really cool. I love this. I This is incredible to me. I find that really, really cool. It just fits the Fallen theme. Even that fits the Fallen theme. You could make an entire Fallen armor set. That's what I'm going to do. This is just a shank. I didn't actually see this. That's pretty cool. I didn't see this either. That's not bad. It it's, fits the uh, uh, theme, I guess. I saw this. That's a Sura's sidearm. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. So yeah, I think this is a great season. Um, not only from the loot or cosmetics, but like the areas and the the, the activity is also freaking incredible, man. Uh, Override, I love it. Uh, if it's gonna be on Nessus or the Moon uh, or Dreaming City or the EDC, I don't really care. It's Europa, Cosmodrome. Dreaming City, actually Dreaming City and Tangled Shore I could take, but I don't care about Nessus. Nessus is not that cool to me. So, uh, yeah. Can you still get up to the top here? I think you can. Yeah, because there's Fallen up here. See, they know, they know the cheats. You can get up there, though. Yeah, this is the same music, too. If they don't bring back Scourge, I'm going to be very surprised. Because, like, they already have, like, the entire area here. Like, even the freaking music, man. I'm just going to start sitting here sometimes. Like, it's that great. It's incredible, man. I, I'm just getting so hyped over it, man. It's, I just love Scourge, Scourge so much. It's a great raid. Because it's just fun. But yep, um, so far, I think this is easily a top three season, like up there with Season Dawn, Arrivals, and Chosen. Definitely a top tier season. Uh, might even be, I, I don't know if I'd say my favorite yet. So I still like Season of the Dawn and stuff. But uh, it's, it's up there, for sure. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.